In this video, I'm going to show a DIY project. It's a landing height display. I used a few components for this. I've gone from V3 to V4 on the LiDAR detector. I mounted the LiDAR detector underneath the right main gear. I'm going to show you the steps it took to build it and also what happened on that first flight and how it worked. Let's get on to the build. It starts with a block diagram. For the controller, I'm going to use an Arduino. Output, I'll use a segmented alphanumeric display, LED based, hoping that that'll be good to see in sunlight. For the sensor input, there's a couple options out there. I'm going to use a LiDAR from Garmin. Uh, there's two versions, a version 3 and a version 4. The version 3 actually has a laser built into it, and the version 4 is a little bit smaller, it's LED based, it's not waterproof, it's LED based versus laser, but it also has a quick connector built into it for the I squared C protocol. This will make connecting it much easier. Version 3, only three more components, but it requires an external capacitor and a couple of resistors. So the choice we're going to make is to go with version 4. Let's go ahead and get this mounted into the airplane. Power two. Originally, I had this set at 1,000 milliseconds or one time per second. Didn't realize how much ground is covered on landing at one time per second. So we're going to step that up a little bit and we'll have another flight. 